Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky everybody, Elon Paul here. So we're doing the normal playthrough again, and in this mission, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do Under a Rebel Star. It's time to get this one done. We're going to go ahead and get this done because there's been some questions in regards to certain aspects of it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to head over to some coordinates. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and read it, if you will. I haven't uh, upgraded anything just recently, so... Uh, we're still stuck with whatever inventory space issues we've got going on uh, due to the, uh, you know, the expedition that's been going on. Anyway, let's take a look at this one. It says that we have to reach the March coordinates, the marked coordinates. I came across an abandoned starship floating endlessly through the starry void. A recorded as, recording has been left playing on loop over its substate stub space transmitter. I'm having a level trouble today. Should I follow and see where it leads? So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to head to it and go to the X coordinates and see what this is about. Now, there are certain things that could happen to your um, reputation in regards to certain groups. So we'll show you a little bit more about that. Let's see how far away this is going to be. Uh, it's five minutes away. Let's go ahead and get out into the atmosphere. And we'll pull slip over there. Now, I don't have my mod loaded, so there's gonna, as you can see, there's going to be the starry streaks that are going on. And we're going to get that on our pulse drive. Having a little trouble with the expedition because it was crashing on me earlier, so... I don't know what's going on. This is a complete re... I wiped out the game and reloaded it, so... We'll see what happens. All right, so we're going to slow down. We need to do a little scan. Looks like we got something in front of us, but the other thing we need to do is we need to look at our radar because there may be something around, if you will. Now, it could be this, but I doubt it's the beacon. Reach the mark coordinates. Let's just take a quick look around. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and land. I'm going to see where it leads us. It may lead us to that spot. It may not. As it slides under us. All right, let's just go ahead and land. Kind of weird. Whoa, it just kind of dropped me right to the ground. Okay, so it's that direction... Yeah, right about that way. I'm not interested in dropping that. Let's go ahead and head that way and see where it leads us. So that way. Let's head to the top of the hill. All right. So game mechanics have changed a little bit. I've got some stuff that has changed a little bit in regards to the game, but... that direction just over this rise apparently aha so we're gonna bring our ship in and land it here I think there was supposed to be a ship here but maybe not let's see what this has to say there is nothing here but the distress beacon of a crashed starship. There is no sign of life. I attempt to salvage what I can from the log of the crashed ship, sifting through the diagnostic data. There appears to have been the they appear to have been the victim of a sudden overwhelming assault. Recover cockpit recording. Among the endless data, the countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames that consumed the ship, there is a fragment of a recording, a window into the starship's final moments. I am not even going to try that. Got the word down out of it. Suddenly the voice changes. The muffled shouts of the pilot fade away. Cut through by words that ring out in a clear and powerful tone. Resist the red. We shall cut out its crimson eye. The end of the message is accompanied by a clear navigational signal. A rendezvous, a rendezvous point. But for who? We'll take that. Death to the Scarlet Tyrant. Okay. Uh-oh. Hi there.
Okay, there we go. That was uh, intense. So we got some corrupt sentinels that attacked me. We got a rendezvous beacon. Okay. Deploy the beacon. Okay, let's see where it takes us. Now, a lot of times what will happen is you'll get a ship out of this, but for some reason that ship's gone. I don't know if we acquired it. It looks like we may have, because everything is taken from over here. So. Really? Uh, Pugnium, or let's go with the Radiant Shard. Okay, there we go. So it takes us up there. Let's go to this other planet. Now again, we'll talk about reputation in a minute, because our reputation... If you go to your escape menu and you go to your catalog, you should be able to find your reputation in here. For instance, I can go to the GEC and I can t find out that my standing is up to 4. I'm a valued customer. Uh, with the Viking, I'm at 7. The Corvax, I'm at 1. Merchant's Guild and all the rest, I'm at 0. Okay? So let's remember that. The biggest one is the Vi Viking. Okay? That's your reputations. 4, 7, 1. GEC, Viking, Corvax. Sure, you scribbled it down by now. I keep looking at my camera thinking that you can see my face. I keep forgetting you can't see that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've had to do a couple videos. Wow, this is a long roll here. Oh, okay, I know where, where we're headed here. Eight seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Three, anytime now. Two, one, and. Okay. Now, these two things here have things in them, so we'll get that later. You will have to fight, whether you like it or not. Okay, one down. Fortunately, we're in a good ship. The ships are, the other ships that have joined you are usually from the space station. If you're wondering who else is fighting for you, you have much more powerful weapons than they do. Okay. Stuck ganding has increased by two. Keep that in mind. Alright, so up here, if you see amongst all the pieces, there's two cargo containers. There's this one. And watch what we get. See? Get some gold out of that. Let's get the other one. And attacking will bring in more pirates, but that's okay. We're in pretty good shape. We've got a pretty decent ship here. And the Starship Shield battery we just got can actually help to power our shields back up, but we're in pretty good shape. It looks like we're below halfway, but that's alright. We will survive this very easily. Okay. Now we're back here. So just to recharge, you can do this. 
Your Aeron shield could be charged with sodium, sodium nitrate, or more radiant shards. I'm just going to use some sodium nitrate. Okay, so that's done. Let's find out what we're supposed to be doing next, shall we? Reach the rendezvous point and investigate. Okay, so I'm thinking, let's see, how's our ship to use a starship scanner to ping the investigation beacon? Incoming message. Follow us to seize your freedom. Your wish, you wish to follow us to seize your freedom to reject the grand lies of the Atlas? We shall see if you are worthy of the voice of freedom. We're going to challenge the caller. I hear only static in reply, a faint laugh echoing through the noise. Okay. So we are done with this. So where does it take us now? It looks like it's taking us over this way. To this planet. Let's see what we get. This is the shell-strewn planet. Now you notice it has three things on it, but it doesn't mention any plants, so there's probably nothing else on this planet. I think we've been here before, as you can see. We discovered this, is what it says. Now this opens up your solar ships as well, so you can get more new the new ship, the solar ships as well. Okay, six, five, four. Looks like might be something right up here. All right, let's land here. We'll save ourselves some landing our launch thrust launch thrusters. Okay, so it is this building we're going to. Excellent. There we go. And it's a transmission tower, as you can see. It's also an abandoned one. So if you want to, you can get some of the uh, some of the eggs here. I don't see any. It looks like we may have been here before. Hmm. How interesting. Okay. Yep. Everything's open, so it looks like we have already... Nope. We have not been here. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's see what we got. Glorious survivor. Welcome. The path to liberty is... Shall be our own masters. Rid of the crimson illusion. A sky for the strong. Its broadcast finished. The terminal begins printing a secure pass. An invitation, it seems, to meet this voice of freedom. Accept the invitation. Okay. Okay, so there is our exosuit upgrade charts that we need to work on. Now you see what we got from the ships that we destroyed. We got a suspicious packet, which gives us a neutron cannon module. Uh, we'll hang on to that. And this one got a suspicious star shield module. We'll go ahead and put that in here. Um, the star shield is over here. Now that, see what it gives us, 17%. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. What's our shield at? 271, 272, 271.2. Guess we'll put you back over there. Okay. All right, so that's good. Excellent. All right. Neutron cannon could come in handy for our multi-tool. Our multi-tool definitely needs to be upgraded, though, so we'll work on that another time. All right. How many uh, nanites do I have? 3,000. Okay. All right, system pass. Required for voice moving. Deploy the ticket from the inventory. Uh, hold on. It should be over in this inventory. There it is. So we accept the invitation by selecting E. Hmm, it's going to do the pullback anyway, even though I'm in my ship. Interesting. Find a space to access the galaxy map. Okay. Now, I've been having trouble with hyperspace lately, so hopefully it still works. Let's see where it takes us. Or maybe uh, the 7th. Let's check. Alright. 
So you'll notice that it has the little pirate symbol to the right of that. This is a pirate system. So let's go ahead and head over there. Well, seems to be working. This is where I've been freezing lately, so we're in good shape. Whoa. There we go. Little trick there. You're shooting the lasers. Don't shoot the freighter. Oh, I missed. Or the space station. Okay, this guy's kind of a crazier one. If I can get him away from the freighter, I can shoot him. And we should be able to land at the freighter. They must be the other side. Let's go ahead and answer the hail. Uh, blah, blah, blah. New. Blah, blah, blah. Though the transmission is infused with static and its alien speech garbled, one thing is unmistakable. The life form is in great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. Input the distress coordinates. And the transmission is pre-recorded hologram fades. As I shut down my starship communicator, their coordinates point to a nearby planet. Oh, we got two transmissions that were going on. Uh, commendable. Life form must be the captain of the freighter. Looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. End. Okay. Let's see. There it is. Now, I may not accept this freighter. Because unless it's an S-Class, I don't usually like these particular versions. So we'll go ahead and land here and take a look. And there we go. Let's take a quick peek. It's a C-Class, so no, we're not even going to accept this. But he is happy that we did what we did, so he'll give us a little bit of a reward. Head up the red stairwell and talk to the captain. Uh, lights flicker rapidly across the life form's visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. They gesture toward the, gr the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. So you can inspect it and get this for free if you wish. I'm going to request payment instead. So I get a cargo bulkhead. My Corvax has increased twice. I get 235 nanites and a significant amount of gold. Oh, very nice. See, and these are the, the solar ships you can now acquire. Offer to trade. He doesn't really have much for me. That's okay. Good to know. All right, we're on our way. Ah, upwards and outwards. This way. Got to get past the flotilla of ships. And then we should be able to hit that emergency beacon. And check it out. Looks like a cold place. Alright, let's see what we get. It's a moon. Oh, is that what I think it is? 
Oh, you know what? It switched missions on us. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, let's check our missions real quick. Planet in Distress is what we ended up getting. We are going back to there. Dock with the Outlaw Station. So that's where we need to be going. I was wondering what was going on. That was kind of weird. Switch it, it switched up on us. You'll see that these look like um, stations that have been abandoned. They're all busted up and stuff like that. But as you enter the station, you'll notice that something's subtly different. Things are patched up. Not quite as derelict as it was, but still in pretty bad shape. And you'll see that there's actual people in it. Alright, here we go. Okay, so while we're here... That's not why we're here. Once it gets past this, you can purchase... Uh, uh, hmm. Multi-tools from here, too. Meh. Not really worth it. Speak to those aboard to locate the Voice of Freedom. So, we'll talk to just random people. The Buck and Gek. Instead of Buccaneer, Buck and Gek. Welcome, glorious survivor. Here there are no Gek, no Corvax, no Viking. Here we speak one tongue. Here we are free. Ask about the Voice of Freedom. Only the strong deserve to sing with the glorious Voice of Freedom. We do not permit the weak to find us. Okay? Just keep going. Pirate Master. Welcome, new face. To find us is to be chosen. To find us is to be free. Ask about the voice. There are those who would deny us our freedom, new face. Those who would sacrifice everything to appease the Sentinels. But the voice keeps us free. Okay? Just keep going. Just keep going, going, going. Looks like we've got three people over here we can talk to. Let's talk to the Corvax. Raiding Entity. The Crimson Fiend corrupts minds across the galaxy. No more will we prostrate, prostrate ourselves before its all-seeing red eye. Ask about the voice. To speak with the voice of freedom is to roar back against the Crimson Void. It is glory itself. Next, Lutgek. You are one of us now, new face. You are bonded to us. You are free. The voice is not one voice, but many. It is our voice. It is your voice. You sing with our choir now. And we got the Shroud of Freedom. Congratulations to us. Under Rebel Star, objective has changed. Let's see. Explore the Outlaw Station. Let's take a look at stuff while we're here. So see, it gives us little skulls of things to look at. So we'll start over here. This is the aftermarket upgrades. He doesn't say anything. You just go in here and he gives all X-Class upgrades. So we got Suspicious Hyperdrive. We got plenty of uh, nanites. Why don't we grab a couple of things? Let's get some launch thrusters, a hyperdrive. Uh, this is for our other stuff. Bull Spitter Scanner. Starship Shield. I'll hold off on that. Uh, hazard Protection Geology Cataplasma. Mining Beam. Hmm. Blaze Phase. And that's it. Okay. That should be good. So let's see what we got ourselves. Oh, we got vector compressors. We need to sell off some of the stuff. What do you think? I think it's time, right? Pulse engine module. Uh, is that you? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's a little bit of an, of an upgrade. Neutron cannon. Okay. Now, it looks like we do have one upgrade for our multi-tool, so we should probably use that. I don't think we can do that here, though. Let's put the hyperdrive upgrade in. That goes over here. No. Here? No. Here. There it is. It just gives more efficiency, so... Yeah, that's alright. We'll keep it. Uh, launch. Down here. That's over here. There we go. 
Okay, so what does it give us? 12% lot. Minus 12% a 3% boost. Okay, good deal. So that's what you can get there. Um, I don't think he does anything. This is the bounty master. So he gives you the bounties of things you can do. You can hunt and destroy pirates. You can deliver illegal cargo, raid a capital ship. Um, and you'll see the things that you can get for it. So I definitely need multi-tool expansions, but you know, this is what I get for it. If I hunt and destroy a pirate, I can get one of those forged passports you wear that uh, some people have been asking about. So this may be the way to go here. We'll come back in a minute. This is your black market stuff. Uh, we always need more of that. Uh, let's see. Repair kits, suspicious packets, star shield batteries, chlorine, pugnium, and suspicious packets. So you can purchase those, and they are very costly. Let's go through selling some stuff, because we do have stuff in our inventory we need to get rid of. Let's check our starship. Like the flesh rope. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, let's see. The vector compressors. We don't get much for them, but we'll go ahead and sell them off. I'm going to go ahead and sell off the defense chits. We'll keep the star bulb. We should put that away. That should be going into our other inventory. All right, let's get rid of Corvax casings and Viking effigies for now. Um, actually, no, I'm going to hold on to those, and I'll show you why later. So while we're in here, since we're in our ship inventory, must be... That's weird. Oh, there it is. That and that goes into that inventory, and that goes in our inventory. Don't know why they ended up here. I must have run into something on the planet. Okay, this we're going to put back over there. This is a cargo bulkhead and is actually worth money, but we'll hang on to that. Okay. So that's another thing. Here is your exosuit upgrade. We could always use it. Now, should we put it in our main inventory or into here? I think we should put it over here. Alright. And you see there's someone back here. It's this unit. Let's see what it has to say. Station core. Life support systems, commercial monitoring disabled, station defenses primed for freedom. Atlas air on surveillance uprink rejected. Request the voice of freedom. Glorious survivor, the promised star will be yours. Glass, 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 glass. Okay. Leave the outlaw station, return to your ship, and begin undocking procedures. So before we do so, you might want to see what the Shroud of Freedom looks like. It is this item right here. So we're on 13 blazing orbit. This is what it looks like. And you can make it a little bit more neat. I got red, yellow, and gray going on. It's kind of a neat look for it. So where's red? Red's down there and the gold is down there. Let's switch this to red and this to gold. Hmm. That actually doesn't look half bad. Go ahead and do that. All right, so now we get the Shroud of Freedom on. Goes good with a cloak. Okay, multi-tool over here. These guys you can talk to. They're scrap dealers, and they can give you stuff for the scrap you pick up on freighters. Okay, moving along. So you remember that we were going to get a passport. We'll end up with one later on anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get in our ship and do what it told us to do. Let's leave the space station. Oh, wait a minute. Exit clearance pending. The voice of freedom will not break the Atlas silence. New car face carries our voice. You must hide your trail. Take this document. Disrupt the traffic records at a station core. Your voice will be free in the darkness. Accept the task. Okay. So we got the forged passport that we were talking about. So let's talk about what happens here. So we're going to leave. You'll see it. It says input these fake details at a station core to reset. Reset. Then a regulated star system. Okay. Okay. We'll read that again in a minute. So we just need to go to a, another system nearby. So we can go back home. It looks like it's actually leading us here. No. Here. There we go. Three star system. We'll go ahead and hit that. 
and all we have to do is land at the space station. Now, if you get scanned by cargo authorities with the forged passport, since it's an illegal item, you can get attacked or charged quite a bit of money, or you'll have to let the unit go off of your ship. So use the forged passport to disguise your visit to the outlaw station. Disrupt local records aboard the space station. Okay, so what species was this? Gek? Alright, let's see what happens. See, black market goods acquired. Reach a trade terminal to offload smuggled items. So, there's your issue. See, it tells us to go back to the regulated core. So, if you look at our inventory real quick. There it is. Right there. And this is illegal to carry on you. So... Let's see what happens. Now you remember, I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here. We're going to take a look at the catalog. Whoops. Back to catalog. There we go. So we're in a GEC system. And we are... Our standing is 8 right now. And if you look, you'll see it is a GEC system. Now let's see what happens when we use this. Atlas Air on Surveillance, Uplink, High Alert, Unusual Activity Defected, Beginning Travel, da travel Database Scan. So let's disrupt those records if we could use the Forge Passport, okay? Now if we denounce the Voice of Freedom, we will, get an, we will get an achievement, and if we use it, we get a different achievement. So you can go back through this on a different save, and you can denounce the Voice of Freedom, you'll get both achievements. Registration Document, Accepted, Traffic Patterns, Unexceptional. Under a rebel star, hide your tracks has been completed. The whole objective has been completed. If we go to the log, you'll see that it's, while it's still here, we have something we need to do. Let me just show you something in the catalog. The GEC, we're still at 8, 7, and 3. So 8, 7, 3. It doesn't change anything, so we're in pretty good shape right now. Okay, so it looks like it's now completed. Let's go back to the log and you'll notice it is no longer in here. So under Rebel Star is now complete, but now we can find pirate systems pretty easily. Now one thing our ship does not have is it does not have an economy. It has an economy scanner. So with the economy scanner, with a, with a combat scanner it would be easier, but with an economy scanner we can find certain things, but we can't find everything. If we can install a combat scanner, which we do not have access to yet, um, we would be able to discover more stuff. So, it is what it is. Okay. So, that said, you'll see it didn't change anything in regards to your standing. It looks like they changed, they did get got rid of that. But now I have a new title that I can use. Now, the thing about the titles in this game is it, it tracks from save to save. So, your main save titles will always track to even the newest titles you can get. Here's the title. And you'll see that these are titles you can get over, over time. And I've already reached a lot of these titles. I don't have Envoy because i got to get Envoy standing with the Merchant's Guild. Same with the Explorer's Guild and the Mercenary's Guild. I have to feel the Wrath of the Arcane and feel the Judgment of the Echo. So I literally have to go completely opposite direction on my standing with both of those species. Retrieve the decayed records of The Voice. Retrieve decayed records from a long dead traveler. That's one I haven't got yet. I've got this one here, but I haven't gotten this one. So that's interesting. Very interesting. The Timeless is the one that you get when you get to a certain point with discovering things, and I have never reached that. Okay. Glass. I have to see through Telemann's eyes, and I've not yet gotten that particular quest. Yeah, got a lot of titles. The Watched, same thing. Okay. The Dissonant. So this one, I believe, would be... Hold on. Where's the pirate one? Plants, ships, sentinels... 
words, walkers, nanite. Here it is, Voice of Freedom. If you denounce the Voice of Freedom, you'll become a traitor. If you sung with the Voice of Freedom like I just did, you'll become the heretic. So, there you go. And that's how that works. And there's your titles. So, I don't have any titles that I'm going to use right now. I'm just going to leave it be. All right, so that takes care of the Voice of Freedom, and that tells you what happens when you use those units. So I'm going to go back here one more time, just double check with the GEC, and I'm going to see I'm still a valued customer. It has not changed my rank with them. Now, if I had destroyed something of theirs and then took them out, then I probably would have had some issues. This would have dropped, and I could have reset it back to zero. So if I get a negative ranking and I use that particular passport, it'll reset this back to zero. So, just keep that in mind. Okay. So that takes care of Under a Rebel Star. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to our original planet. And we're going to call this one done. Now, there is one other thing we could be doing. Let me check. Do we have it in our inventory? Does not look like we do. I do have this upgrade I want to use real quick, so I want to get a slot open on my on my multi-tool. And we have to get a better multi-tool than what we've got sooner or later. And I really don't feel like taking on derelict freighters until I can get something like that. So I might do that in between episodes here. So what we can do is we go here, we can use that upgrade. Um, if you want to upgrade your class, it takes 10,000 nanites and then 25,000, and then 50,000 to get up to an S-Class. We can purchase a new slot for 750,000 units, or we can just install the slot that we have right now. So we can fill these two in, three, actually, and then that's it. It won't be able to upgrade this multi-tool anymore. I'm going to go ahead and do it for now. So... Now we can install the personal force field if we will. I'm going to go ahead and install it for now, but I'm going to uninstall it. So we've achieved the what they wanted us to do for that mission. Okay. So now that that's done, I have uninstalled it. Okay, good deal. So that is now completed. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, let's get back to our log. So we've got pretty much a lot of these things done. The scientist is complete. We have Dreams of the Deep to get to, and we'll be doing that in another episode. So this was a shorter episode than I expected. I thought it would be a little bit longer. But like I said, it unlocks their ability to find pirate systems and to get a solar ship. I'm just very happy with the Sentinel ship, that's all. So, And we'll do the planet in distress another time. Uh, so that should pretty much do it for now. Let's go ahead and end this episode again. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get back to our main base here. I am not going to do Dreams of the Deep. <laughs> That's a longer episode. And kind of creepy. And let me see here. This looks like our Neptune colony. That's where we want to go. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope this has been instructive. Once we get an upgraded multi-tool and we get an upgraded, uh, we upgrade our, our exosuit and everything like that, we will go ahead and do other episodes like a derelict freighter. We'll go ahead and hit one of those up soon. And there we go. And we are back at our base. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and close it through here. Planet Alarm Paul playthrough 4.2. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and that takes care of Under a Rebel Star. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.